Look at these two munchkins! Look at them! <laughs> oh, in the rain! Good morning! Good morning! <laughs> Good morning everybody and welcome to a foodie video. I haven't done a foodie video for a while. I love doing them. I don't do them enough. I want to do them more. So today we are doing kind of a what I eat in a day but also a food shop haul. I decided I wanted to do an online food shop this time. In my last kind of foodie video, me and Niall went to Waitrose and did a big food shop because that's the only kind of big supermarket near us in London. But I decided this time, make it cheaper, do an Asda online, so we've got it. So, hello, good morning. <laughs> so, I thought I'd give you a bit of a run through before I make my lunch. This is actually Niall's kale, but it looks lovely. Let's have a little look. Should I turn you around? Don't know whether to have my face on you. Don't know. Should I just show you the food? Maybe that's what you want to see. <laughs> so first then we've got some avocados. Now, I do like an avocado occasionally. I only like them mashed. I only like them in small doses. But I thought, I decided I'd give them a go because at the moment I'm loving my eggs. Here's my eggs. So I go through periods. I haven't eaten eggs for ages. I recently got back into them. I like a scrambled or a poached. I go through, I go through phases at the moment we're liking them. So I thought I'd put a little bit of mashed avocado with it. I think I might make that in a second actually. That's what we'll do first. And also with my bagel thins. So um, there's not really much reason why I get the thins. I like them because they're ready sliced, which is very lazy, but I'm not very good at cutting bread and bagels and stuff. I don't know if anyone can relate. I know that sounds stupid, but. Yeah, I personally just prefer them because they are sliced for me. <laughs> and then we also, do you know what? Do you know what? Asda actually has sent me a substitute here because I didn't actually order these hex. These are a vegetarian hex sausage. Now, I love my hex sausages, but I actually ordered the vegetarian sweet sweet chili I think that's what they were called I wanted to give them a go and I want to I want to try and I've talked about this in juggle in January but I'm kind of trying to eat slightly less meat so I'm just kind of <laughs> finding my way into slightly less meat although I'm not vegetarian or anything but I wanted to give a go their vegetarian sweet chili sausages but they have some reason sent me the super green which <laughs> don't look that fabulous look at this sausage style have you actually looked at them they are quite ugly, look at them. They look like, they look like snoz, snoz cumbers from BFG. Have you seen that? They're bogey sausages. Oh! Uh, yeah, so I'm not too happy about that. They didn't tell me they were giving me them, but I will still attempt them at some point. Maybe I'll try one today with you and Niall. If I try, you try. <laughs> we'll see. And then I also picked up some pretzels. So. A big thing I wanted to do actually was pick up snacks because I love a snack but I never ever have them in the house. So I got myself some pop chips, barbecue flavour. I do like them but only in small doses. I'm not like a big, big fan but I do like the barbecue. So I got some of them and the pretzels I absolutely love. These are the gluten free ones actually but not that I'm gluten free but not that I'm gluten free, not that I'm gluten intolerant. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. Love a pretzel. And then I picked up some smoked salmon because I think I'll also put that with my eggs and my avo. And then, what's over here? I got some coconut oil, which now I'll be very pleased about because I eat all of his. Actually. Well, I love coconut oil to cook in more than olive oil. Do you know what? I was actually thinking that. You know those potatoes I made? Your potatoes that I copied with the olive oil. Don't like the olive. Don't like the olive, you need a coconut. I like a coconutty potato, a coconutty egg, coconutty everything. So I'm focused, I'm trying to focus over my nose. I keep eating all of Niall's coconut oil, so I decided to get my own. And then we also have, so I actually don't really like stir fries, but this one looked quite appetizing because I don't know, the peppers. The thing is, whenever I make a stir fry, I make it soggy. <laughs> so, I'm gonna try. I didn't actually order that much veg in this shop though, because I do find when I order like online, it sometimes doesn't sort of feel as fresh when it comes. I like to get my veg nice and fresh, so. It's not looking amazing, but I'll have to eat that soon, I think. Not today, possibly tomorrow. And I also got the katsu stir fry sauce to go with it. Ah. It's one of Niall's faves, that's why he's doing that voice. Also, I picked 
up the corn veggie bacon. I used to actually eat this all the time, but because where we live, the shops are only really quite small and they don't have much option, I haven't found it for so long, but um, I found some. I might actually have that today, but then I feel like I'm gonna have green sausage, bacon, avo, salmon, egg, bagel, I think that might be a bit much. I'll have to pick and choose. But they, this actually is a really, really nice bacon. I'm not massively keen on normal bacon. I find it a bit fatty and not great, but this one is a good one. I got some salmon. I love my salmon. I feel like salmon's one of my favorite kind of meals. Salmon with some sweet potato, possibly a pasta, some veggies. I did pick up this veggie bowl as well. The only kind of veggie veggie thing I bought. It was quite nice having kind of a mixture of everything. So I think I might pop some of this with my dinner tonight. Lovely. And then I got some chicken. I don't know what I'm gonna have this with actually, but you know, just in case. I will eat it, but I don't know yet with what. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> He's looking at the camera. She's Good morning. Like yeah, she has. She's been slapping people. She actually, I was joking in my morning routine video about Poppy going out slapping people on Bluebell, but she actually did. We also have some yogurt. So this is another one of my snacks I wanted to pick up just for when I'm I'm just feeling a bit peckish in between meals because that's always me. Got the Activia raspberry because I love a good raspberry. Not when there's worms inside though. And then I got some barbecue beans. So I don't know if you've seen my foodie videos. I usually talk about them when I'm like out shopping because it's only, I only find them in big supermarkets. But my grandma showed me these. I love my barbecue sauce on my beans, so it's a win-win. Then we also have some tuna in brine. Brine <laughs> sounds so horrible. I know, but I don't like the sunflower one because it's too oily. Get in water. No, but water. then it's too dry. I like it. Brine, it's all about the brine. <laughs> And then this is another thing that they have substituted because I did order, I think it was the tangerines that I'm loving at the moment and they're only in sometimes, so yeah, it's a tangerine. So I usually buy them from co-op down the road. I just like having them as a snack again. I feel like it curves my sweet tooth, although I do also usually eat Nutella as well, but it gets me through. <laughs> um, and they put in the kids easy peelers for me, which is lovely, but I mean, easy peelers are usually nice as well. I just really like the tangerines because they usually have like a sharp sweet taste. No, that sounds silly, but every orange tastes very different. Don't you agree? It's, yeah, there's a wide variety of tastes of orange. You can get good ones and bad ones. When you get a bad one. It's not a good day. Not a good day. <laughs> and then I also picked up this Caesar salad kit, because I used to eat these a lot when I was a student, and they're just a really nice thing to have. Throw in some chicken. Throw in a carb or three. That's actually why I bought the chicken, thinking about it. I think I'm gonna make that, and it usually makes me two, mm. I usually add more lettuce, but in, in general, it makes two meals. I know it's a little bit lazy, you can get everything separately, but I just like, I really like the sauce they put in these packs. I feel like it tastes different to the bottle ones. Love it. Picked up some pasta. What is this then, rigatoni? How is this? Rigatoni. Italian people are gonna be ashamed of that <laughs> attempt. Yeah, I love pasta and this pasta looked interesting. It looks like fat penne. <laughs> I thought I'd give it a go. I like a chubby pasta. And then also I picked up some mayo. Now again, they substituted this. I did pick up the squeezy one because I find the pot's a bit annoying, but not the end of the world. They also substituted my ketchup for no added sugar and salt. I don't know what Asda was trying to tell me, but I hope that it tastes the same, because I feel like some Heinz ketchup and they're low sugar or low salt, they taste a bit weird, so let's pray. And then finally, we have all my milks. So this milk actually is another one that they have substituted for me. I didn't pick the Asda own, not that there's anything wrong with it. I usually go for Alpro. I know, I know a lot of people tell me it's not great, but I'm just a bit uneducated on milk. <laughs> But yes, I got my soya. I love having my soya. I love my hazelnut. So usually I mix my hazelnut and my soya in my tea. And then I also put my soya in my overnight oats, which I'm gonna make with you later for tomorrow morning. Cause I have lots of questions about those overnight oats. And then lastly, we've got a soya chocolate. So I did attempt the almond chocolate. I think that was in my last foodie video, but I didn't like it very much. It was a bit thin. I love a soya. I know a lot of people think there's loads of issues with soya, but I just don't agree. 
I love this soya. Anyway, I think I'm gonna make my lunch. I think what I'm gonna do is, you've literally just seen a talking hand the past like 10 minutes. I need to show my face. I think I'm gonna make some scrambled eggs with a bagel, with a little bit of mashed avocado. Actually, that's not a good shout because they need to ripen at home. That's the thing I hate about avocados. Okay, maybe not the avo. Rookie. Excuse me. Rookie error. So I think I'll have eggs, bagel, possibly, possibly a bacon. Yes, I think that's what we'll do. Here is the evil kitten on her adventures. Look at her, she's gonna, she's gonna whack me. <laughs> oh, oh, she's off. Oh, she's lying down, what are you doing? Oh, oh, you look like a little tiger like that. I love it when cats do this little pose. She does this in the hallway and then she slaps Bluebell as Bluebell passes or us if it's our feet. Evil cat, but she's cute. We do love her. I joke that she's evil, but she is actually lovely. She's just got a very sassy side to her, but a very cuddly side too that we don't see much. Do we, Blue? Blue? <laughs> do we, Pop? Why? Well, because I... <laughs> I call her Bluebell. No, I don't really. I do love Poppy as much as Blue, but they've just got very different characters. I know some people worry for Pop that we don't love her, but we do very much. She does cuddle every morning, every night, but it's usually when I've stopped vlogging because I, <laughs> I don't think she likes to show you that she's got a soft side, do you, Pop? You've got this evil persona online. <laughs> right, I'm just making my lunch and I've got the green sausage goat on the go and it smells vile. It smells like mint. I don't know what it is, it's squishy. Sorry, Heck, if you're watching. I love Heck, but I don't know what this green sausage is. I ordered sweet chili vegetarian to try. They sent me a green one. It's squidgy, it looks like a snozcumber. Is it snozcumber? Snoz... Oh, I need to look that up. I love the BFG. Where's my phone? Um, yes, anyway, I'm cooking one to try. I don't want them to go to waste. So I'm gonna attempt. I'm gonna make Niall try it as well. And I'm gonna fry my bacon. My vegetarian bacon. I actually really like this bacon. It's better than normal. No. And I have actually got some beans left over, so I'm gonna microwave some baked beans. Got my bacon in the toaster, and I'm going to scramble some eggs, and I'm gonna be good to go, as long as the sausage doesn't kill me. <laughs> I've also just put up my hood because it's absolutely freezing in our house. This is a lovely new little jacket that Puma kindly sent over to me. It's Selena Gomez range. Can you show them the back? Very cool, very not me, but very cool. Look at it. Look at that panther. I was gonna say tiger. No comment. Nothing to say about your hoodie. Do you like it? Nice, very nice. Not very me. Ba-ba. <laughs> <laughs> I was making That's fun of the way I say Poppy's name. Ba-ba. It's Poppa. Ba-ba. <laughs> it sound like. Ba-ba. Oh, we're making fun of you. Mm, come to daddy. Yeah, I'm gonna do it to you. Smother. Mm. <laughs> oh, look at her face. Mm -hmm. oh. The ugliest lunch you ever did see. Look at that. That is an ugly lunch. <laughs> Look at him, chef over here it judging. Like you, it looks like you tried to make it well presented. No, I didn't. Just put it on the plate, all right? Anyway, usually it doesn't look this way. It's because of this. <laughs> no, it's not. The bacon's fine. If the bacon... Look, look, I'll make it look nice. There we go. Look, put a little cross. There we go. Not ugly. <laughs> this looks like... <laughs> Don't even know. That looks like Donna kebab meat. No, it's fine. Leave it alone. Let's try this then. Come on. It smelled very minty, but I think when it was cooked, it started to smell a bit better. But I think I've also burnt it now. Right, come on then. Let's try the super green. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like? It's alright. Is it? What does it taste like? Vegetables and seasoning, mint, stuff like that. I don't like that. mint. Right, let me, have a, let me have a taste. Do you know what? That's actually not quite as bad as I was expecting. It has that sausage-esque-ness to it, but it's just got that minty aftertaste, which is not a bit of me. It actually looks like avocado in <laughs> That is probably the ugliest piece of food I've ever seen in my life, but... Don't judge book by its cover. Oh, good afternoon, Missy. Bluebell's got a wet head. She got spit all over herself while she was chasing sticks <laughs> on our walk, so. She had her paws washed and she had her head washed. Absolutely glorious, Bloob, look at you. 
Anyway, it's been quite a few hours. I've been out and about doing bits and bobs and I am actually just about to get in the bath. Do you know what? I have actually become very obsessed with baths. I know I love baths, but I've been having them daily. I think I actually said that quite recently, but I'm absolutely loving them. I love washing my hair in them. It makes it way more silky. I don't know why, but it does. Apparently, actually, someone did say on, my, on one of my recent videos that it doesn't strip as many of the natural oils when you wash your hair in the bath. In fact, nothing to do with food though, but <laughs> yes, before I go in my bath, I do want to make up some energy balls and make my overnight oats for the morning. I think I'll eat my dinner when I get out. But I thought I'd make my energy balls with you and my overnight oats now before we go in. So let's do that. So I've got my little recipe up. So basically I am doing my recipe from Mine and Niles cookbook, Rather Delish. That cookbook is always linked in my description box by the way if you do want to grab little plug there. <laughs> I have made these I think once before on YouTube, maybe twice. I've made them for a while though, but I just find that they're a really nice kind of quick snack. I don't know if you want something quick for the gym or you just want a quick snack, whatever, because I like to snack. I mean, since I've seen you, I've eaten a bag of pretzels, a bag of pop chips. I've had a couple of biscuits at the cafe when I had a cup of tea. <laughs> I'm a bit of a snacker. So these are just a really nice one to do. And they, they're kind of, they're just a fill-in snack too. So, it's very easy as well. All we need is some dates. That's kind of the main ingredient here. We've got chia seeds, cashews, another big, big ingredient of this one. We've got some cocoa powder, coconut oil, and some vanilla whey protein. I think what I'll do is pop the recipe in the description box and put you on a little time lapse. Let me, let me actually show you. This is from Rather Delish. So this is the measurements, just if you want a screenshot quickly, if you don't want to go in the description box, whatever, but that's it. Give it a quick screenshot, good to go. now ready to go in the fridge they're feeling a bit warm so they need i think they probably need about at least an hour fridge time for them to just squish and mold together properly you know anyway i'm now actually going to quickly do my overnight oats i have recently done this in a vlog i know but i have had quite a lot of questions recently about my overnight oats and what i put in it exactly so i think i'm actually going to talk through it slowly so with my overnight oats <laughs> I don't actually measure anything, so I literally just guess. So obviously we get the oats in first. These are these oats are actually extra nice. These are Niles oats from my protein. They're, they're just really chunky oats. They taste a lot nicer than, do you know what, some oats, they just taste a bit like squidge, don't they? We've been through this, especially hot oats, squidge. I fill up the jar to about there, so quite full. And then I'm gonna pop in a little bit of a protein. So, the protein that I'm using today is a chocolate orange flavour. I find that either chocolate, chocolate orange is fabulous, it's just the one that Niall's got in the house, which I steal, is lovely. I'm just popping in about, I don't know if that's a tablespoon of cocoa powder, a dollop, depends how chocolatey you want it. And then I am just going to pour in a little bit of chia seed. So again, random guess. Just whatever feels good. I'm gonna squirt a little bit of honey in, give it a bit of a sweeter, not that any really need it, especially when I've got Nutella coming up. <laughs> and then I'm gonna pop in about a spoonful, actually not a tablespoon of Nutella, I'd say about that much. What's that? Three quarters of a spoon. And then I'm gonna pop in about the same amount of peanut butter. I actually really like crunchy peanut butter. I think it makes such a difference. You catch the crunch of the peanut, which is nice when you're chomping on your oats in the morning. Then I'm going to pop in soya milk. Now this is the bit where you either get a rubbish overnight oat or a nice overnight oat and I still make the mistake. So with the milk, I feel like I should learn to work out what the measurement is because this is where it could all go wrong. So I kind of just test it, get a bit in and I'll just gradually add more as I go because I don't want them to be soaked but I don't want them to be dry. This is this is where the issue is. <laughs> I feel like I'm on a cooking show right now and I'm the worst cook in the world. And then I'm just gonna top it off with some shaved almonds. A little squirt of honey on top too. Oh, we ran out, come on. And it will hopefully turn out like this. I mean, it doesn't look amazing right now, but tomorrow after it's been in the fridge all night, 
it's lovely. So I'm gonna pop that in the fridge now overnight and have it in the morn. Good evening everybody. I'm out of the bath. I've washed my hair. I'm feeling fresh and fabulous <laughs> and I'm just currently preparing my dinner. So today, which is a little bit weird for me because I actually never ever do this and if you know me you know this very well, but basically I actually meal prepped yesterday which is the weirdest thing in the world because I'm just not a meal prepper. There's this meal prep dish that Niall does which is so basic but so nice and yesterday I was just craving it so I have got the second lot this evening. Very basic, you may have seen Niall make this before, it's his favourite one, it's literally the most basic thing in the world but it actually tastes so nice and there's something about the way Niall makes it which makes it taste so nice I do need to heat this up but basically I have some roasted potatoes but they're that really nicely done roasted potato that's crispy on the outside and soft on the inside and I personally can't do it very well myself I just burn them but somehow he does it. And then we also have some chicken that's marinated with paprika, Cajun spices, and salt and pepper. And then also, I'm currently just making some broccoli to go with it. So that's tonight's dinner. Actually so nice, it doesn't sound it, but it is actually really nice. And Niall just has a way at cooking. Niall's a good chef. Basically good chefs can make the simplest dishes taste nice with just certain flavors, certain methods of cooking. Me, not one of them. That's why I bought chicken Caesar salad packet a stir fry packet, not knocking them, but I'm just not, I'm not a very good cook, but I like to try, so I'm just imitating Niall at the moment, but tomorrow I'm gonna have all of my new bits that I've bought, which I'm excited about. And I think probably after my dinner, I will most definitely have something sweet. Possibly a yogurt, possibly an energy ball, pool, ball, possibly Nutella, possibly an orange, probably all of them. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm gonna leave this one here. I really hope you enjoyed. Also, plug in myself again, but right now when this video goes live, these jumpers will be going live. I'll pop up the other one on screen. So we have a gray one that says blue beyond the clouds. And then this is the yellow one with the rainbow, which I've been wearing all day. And we're restocking today at 6 p.m. So if you're watching on the day, it's today, Thursday. But we sold out quite quick last time, so make sure you're quick. If you do want one, they will be linked in the description box. They're 23 pounds worldwide absolutely love they're all just little additions to your wardrobe to kind of like bring some positivity to your day bit of yellow bit of a rainbow bit of a blue beyond the cloud blue beyond the clouds means there's always good beyond the bad basically there's always a silver lining kind of thing so yes anyway i just wanted to update you on that as well but i really hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching i have felt a little bit Mm, today I am actually waiting on some news for something that could be very exciting but I don't know if it's gonna happen yet so you know you just feel really on edge and you're waiting for something and you just start doubting everything that was me today but I don't actually think it came across too much on the vlog to be honest I feel I felt like it if anything lifted me vlogging with you today so I really hope you enjoyed I hope there was something there that maybe you'll make I know I'm not the best cook but maybe the food hall will inspire you to get something that I did to make something nice I don't know I don't know if I was helpful today but I hope it was <laughs> I really hope you're having a lovely February so far and I think the next video is possibly I don't actually know what it's gonna be I think it's just gonna be some form of a vlog we got the vlogs out and about but yeah Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Pop's waiting for me to feed her. Evil Pop's out and about again. Poppy's had a lot of, a lot of screen time today, haven't you, Pop? Star of the show. Not blue today, it's all about the pop. This right now is one of the moments where I would be called a peasant by Poppy. 